Well, the second part is devoted to a single work, rather long work, where uh, the music is uh, only one element, if I may say so, of uh, the game. And first, why the title? I must say maybe my knowledge of English is not so good, but I was intrigued myself by the title, Foxes and Hedgehogs. Well, and I was still more intrigued when I knew why, because I don't know if you have read your program, but the uh, title of the work is derived from this motto. The fox knows many things, but the hedgehog knows only one big thing. And that's a quote of Archilochus. I don't know if you know the complete works of Archilochus. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, to uh, explain this uh, quotation, I would tell, uh, tell you what Eric Salzman told to myself. Uh, he would like to oppose a kind of puritanical way of looking at the art, and especially to have a very single-minded view of the art, and to a kind of, let's say, more American way of looking at it, more relaxed and uh, less sharp, definitely less sharp, on stylistic ideas, on what we, uh, as European, mainly as European, I must say, uh, consider uh, as the main virtues of an art to preserve the purity and the unity of the style. Uh, this work uh, uses a poem of John Ashbery, and this poem is in, uh, the title of this poem is Europe. And therefore, uh, the poem is not set really uh, with the music uh, that one can understand the text all the time, but the relationship of the poem is much more complex with the music than it is normally. You have many degrees of understanding, you have many ways of uh, playing uh, in music with the text. Because the text is also <clears throat> a place on many levels. And that's a reaction, a reaction which, is, which I described as American, but I have the right to say that, because there is a very uh, notorious example in the, Ameri in the American music, and that's Charles Ives. More or less, he is the father of uh, all the very important American music and is recognized now as this father figure. Of course, he realized this kind of ideas of uh, multi-level idea of music in his own way. Uh, and now uh, Salzman proposed as a new solution. But I would like to read, as I told you, we will discuss on this work uh, afterwards, I would like to tell you what he has written about it, because that, has, that brings some questions. I am sure you will uh, be eager to listen, to uh, see discussed. What is needed, he says, is a real postmodern art, non-abstract, wide-ranging, humanistic, responsive, not to the trendy and artificial taste-making of the narrow art and music fashion world, but to new, wider realities. This is the real, as opposed to the journalistic, the real meaning of multimedia and music theater. Foxes and Hedgehogs was therefore a first attempt to face up, to interpret and dramatize a complex situation which must lead to a revaluation of expression, communication, and context. And here is the conclusion. I would uh, like you appreciate, and after we discuss about it, because I think that's a very important question, a general question, art without context is meaningless. And the context for art today must reflect the dynamics of social and technological change, change. not as a new collection of formulae, but as a way of understanding and interpreting the very conditions that give it birth. So you see that we are, we are beginning with music and we are far from just literally speaking 
on the techniques of music at the end, but we are much more involved in the evol evolution of music as a kind of description or response to the social environment and to the society. And I think after having heard the piece, maybe uh, you will have certainly some ideas to discuss with us. And now I just let the music speak for itself.